Hey guys, so I'm here uh, with Mike. He's now at his house in Las Vegas. But anyway, so Mike, um, we made a previous video where you basically became a millionaire at the age of 25 and you basically invested in a gas station, you found partners, uh, it still required you to put down $80,000. So my question to you is, how did you get to that $80,000 and how old were you when you bought that gas station? So um, I bought the gas station when I was 24 years old. Okay. Um, and it was really great too because I'd be there with uh, vendors of PepsiCo and uh, Frito Lay, and one of the people from Pepsi said uh, uh, after we were going over the whole changeover. Like you got to walk around the house though, man. You're you're, you're just like saying like, we, we got to see the entire pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, continue, yeah. continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so with that, I. Uh, um, Bought it at 24, and the guy from Pepsi was like, "I gotta ask you, how old are you?" I said, "24." Like, oh my <laughs> god, I gotta tell my uh, manager. I was like, "Good," <laughs> but um, you know, I had uh, started really early in my career. You know, my dad was a workhorse who definitely made all of his sons work extremely hard, and I had my first job at 14 years old, washing golf courses on the golf course he owned in Las Vegas, Rose Ranch Golf Course. Because uh, normally you're supposed to be 16 before you can work, but if it's a family-owned business, you can be as young as 12. So I was working, and uh, you know I worked every single summer. I was a carpenter in the Vegas heat, and eventually was uh, a superintendent for my father's home building company, which really gave me a lot of construction knowledge, and uh, I learned how to uh, purchase land and purchase other materials that go into houses. But I think there's another thing too you did is you, you were able to save money because even though you're working and you're obviously doing all this stuff to make money, there's a lot of people that make a lot of money, but then they spend it all. They're not going to save it up and then invest it into a business. So um, you, you should definitely talk about that too, right? Because you obviously weren't stupid with your money. You weren't like frivolous and you were obviously smart enough to, to save it. Yeah. Yeah. I was always, um, always really good at saving. Um, and it's funny too because like there's one instance where I wasn't uh, being financially responsible in my first year of college, um, and I came out of high school with uh, ten thousand dollars savings. Um, and I know that's a lot, but uh, I did come from a you know wealthy background. Um, and I'll never forget because the year that I was my freshman year of college, it was two thousand eight, and it was March, and Las Vegas Sands Corporation, who owns the Venetian Las Vegas was a $200 stock that was now at this day going for $1.90. And I was like, what should I do? Should I, should I take all this money and put it into this uh, casino because they had more assets? When they were valued at that, you have to understand, this company was valued at under a billion dollars, and just one of their properties is worth $2.2 .2 billion. Um, so it was uh, really a crazy time. And if I would have done that deal, and if I would not have gotten scared, I would have come out about uh, 200000 in profit when I was 19. But uh, unfortunately, we all have those uh, young moments, and my young moment taught me to never squander opportunities again. And okay. so, you know, through I mean, 21 years old, I bought a house on a mortgage, and uh, by age 24, I sold that house with a really nice profit for myself, and uh, started my fuel and lubricant business. But you were and also then, willing to hustle because we have to wrap this up. So he yeah. also cut down his expenses because he sold his house and moved back in with his parents to start this business. And that's the kind of stuff you're going to have to do to be successful. And we're going to go to make another video. So let's just talk about that because you obviously, um, on our next video, let's talk about where you got to that phase where you decided to sell your house and to move into your parents and to start this gas station business that basically ends up, you know, at the age of 25, he becomes a millionaire. All right, on to yep. the next video.